Hey everybody, so sorry again I look like crap because again I just got back from the gym. But this is the second video in my back to school series makeup and this is Rachel my cousin. Hi. And I just straightened her hair so you will see the before and after but it literally took us like one and a half hours to do this. She has such thick hair but it's so pretty. Um, so you'll see the clip of us doing that next. But um, for her we're just going to do a natural neutral look using my Urban Decay Naked Palette. So let's just get into the look. Okay, so I'm going to be taking my Ultra Chi, and this is the pink one, and it's set on all the way high, um, just to really get her hair, because her hair is really thick and dense. But first things first, we're going to be taking my Trust Me Heat Tamer Spray, and this is really great heat protectant. And we're just going to spray it all throughout her layers of her hair, just to protect it from the heat. So, like I said, it smells really good too, but it's a really great product, and just you're just going to want to comb it through a little bit just to make sure it is evenly distributed. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna part her hair and put some of the sections up, the different layers, and we're gonna do this by taking more than half of her hair because she has so much hair, and we're just going to be taking it and putting it up, and we're just gonna clip it on top of her head. So first we're going to get started by just taking the layers piece by piece and we're just going to be flat ironing them from root to end just like this. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you the final product when I'm done. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a concealer and I'm using the Sonia Kasha Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette and I'm just going to use this light color right here that I use on myself just because she has a nice light complexion and I'm just going to use this to put under the eyes and cover any imperfections. Okay, I'm going to fast forward this part so we can talk. Alright. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry I blinked. <laughs> Look at me. Batman. I don't know. Don't poke me. Okay, next I'm going to be taking her foundation that she uses, and this is the Maybelline New York Mineral Powder Foundation, and. Not sure what color this is, but classic ivory. Classic ivory. So, wait. And I'm just gonna be taking this powder brush, and I'm just gonna dust it all over her face, just to set the concealer, and then also be the foundation. Okay. Okay. So now I'm gonna be taking my Hula bronzer by Benefit, and I really, really like this. It's just a matte bronzer on my bronzer blush brush. And I'm just going to be making the 3C, the 3 on your face. And this is really just going to define the hollows of your cheeks and make your face appear more slender. My NYX Rouge Cream Blush in the color Glow. And this is a really pretty cream blush that I really, really like. And it's just really natural looking. And I'm just going to use my fingers and I'm just going to put this on your cheeks. Smile. So you're going to find the apples, and then it's very blendable, so don't be afraid when it comes on your cheeks and it's very bright, it's very blendable. Just bring it up, and then we're just going to do like that on this side. Oh, I don't have to smell for this, right? No, you can't really see, but put your hair behind your ear. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and just put this on the lid just so the look will stay all day and especially good because school is coming and you don't want to have creasing eyeshadow throughout the day. So you're just going to use this and we're just going to rub this into our eyes. And this okay, is so after you prime your eyes, I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, which I love. And the first color I'm going to be taking is the color... 
Suspect, which is right here. And it's a really, really pretty shimmery sort of champagne-y color, but it's a dark champagne color. And I'm just going to be using this and putting this all over the lid. Okay, so next I'm going to be taking the color Snake, Snake Bite right here, which is a really, really pretty dark brown color. And I'm just going to be putting this on the end of my blending brush. And we're just going to put this into the crease. It's a really, really pretty. Just like that. And next I'm going to be taking my highlight brush and putting the color Foxy, which is a, just a pretty neutral color as the, for the highlight. So just putting this under the brows, just to highlight, and in the inner corner, just like that. So that is the simple look for the eyeshadow. Come closer. For eyeliner, this is an optional step since it is for school, but I'm going to be taking my Maybelline New York line stiletto, and this is a liquid liner, and I'm just going to be lining her um, la upper lash line it very, very, very slightly because it is for school, so you don't want it too dramatic. So that is it for the eyeliner. Really for the mascara, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline legal length mascara and the brush is pretty simple and it looks like that and it's going to be applying this on her lashes look down, look down. Okay, look up going to have to do two layers two layers of I'm going to be taking my steel lip glaze in the color seashell and it looks like that it's a really really pretty color and I'm just going to be applying this to her lips. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you very soon. Thank you, and leave comments below if you what other kind of back-to-school looks you'd like to see me do. Thanks for watching. Bye.